Hey there, are you tired of running on the prospecting hamster wheel? If so, you'll want to watch this video because I'm going to be talking about what it is and more importantly, what getting off of it looks like. I'll do that by walking you through an update on a buyer's lead generation campaign for a realtor client. This update will be from a campaign launch walkthrough I did one month and one day ago. While those results were quite amazing for 24 hours into the launch, you might have been thinking, well, that's great for 24 hours. But how sustainable is that over the long run? Well, a month later, and I'll show you. By the way, Mike here with Real Ascend Media and Marketing. We're a results-driven agency that focuses on strategies that actually help you grow your business and give you a positive return on your marketing investment. So what is the prospecting hamster wheel? It goes in five phases. Phase number one is the business owner, entrepreneur, or realtor looks around their business and sees the need for more customers, clients, revenue or income. So they start prospecting. Phase two is they start to see results and generate leads. Phase three is their pipeline gets full, so they get busy, which causes phase four and the linchpin that sends this whole thing into the vicious cycle or hamster wheel that it becomes. They stop prospecting, which causes phase five. All their leads either dry up or the better scenario, they become buyers and are no longer in need of what you sell. Now in sales, there's a saying, the best part of making a sale is making a sale. The worst part is you now have to replace your best prospect. So in phase five, they look around and see the need for prospecting again and start right back at phase number one. The reason why this is a problem is because it's always reactive rather than proactive. And when you're in business or an industry that has a longer sales cycle, like real estate, Needing clients or needing customers today is a result of not prospecting 30, 60, or 90 days ago, and sometimes even longer. It's simple. If you want to be closing a deal today, you need to have prospected months ago. So how do you get off the hamster wheel? Well, you have two options. You can religiously devote time to prospecting every single day, and I mean no excuses, every day, blocking out time in your calendar to contact and get in front of potential new leads. Or two, you can implement a system that generates consistent leads for you 24 seven. And that's what I can help you with. So let's jump into the campaign update and I'll show you what that system looks like. Okay, so here we are inside my computer while I'll do this campaign walkthrough. Now I'm sure you can see that some things are blurred out. I'm not trying to hide anything. I think you can understand and respect the fact that I'm just simply trying to respect the privacy and confidentiality of my clients. So that's why that's blurred out. It's not to hide anything at all. So speaking of hiding anything, I also want to timestamp this video because I want you to see, you know, there's nothing manipulated, none of the data is manipulated, it's all legit. So I have opened the lifetime metrics, uh, it was just updated, so everything's up to date. Like I said, this campaign is one month and one day old, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump to today, just to show the date. So again, it's June 7th, 2019, that's today's date, the day I'm shooting this video. And I'm going to go back to May the 5th because this campaign was launched on May the 6th, 2019. So what I'll do here is I will go back to May the 5th. Okay, so there we are, May the 5th, 2019. And as you can see, there is no money spent. There is no data because this campaign was not launched yet. If I fast forward one day to May the 6th, you will start to see uh, some money being spent and some data showing up. So yeah, there we are. So on May the 6th, that current day, we, we only spent $6.65, but we already generated seven new conversations for her. This campaign was launched later in the evening, about 5.30 p.m. my time, but seven new converse conversations were already started with potential buyers at 95 cents per conversation. So let's go back to the lifetime and look what that looks like. So update that, just refresh everything. So here we are, 31 days into the campaign. Uh, we have spent $636 on ad spend. We've reached 25,660 people. I mean, how long would it take you to reach 25,660 people? 770 link clicks at a cost of 83 cents per link click, which is a really great metric. But here's the big thing. We started 308 new conversations at a cost of $2.07 per conversation. So 308 conversation with potential buyers. That's averaging over 31 days. That's averaging about 10 conversations a day, which you're probably thinking, okay, great. I can do that. But the question you need to ask yourself is, are you doing it? You know, Monday through Sunday, are you having 10 conversations, at least 10 
every single day, Monday through Sunday, with potential buyers or sellers, whatever you're looking for. Right, and it costs at two dollars per conversation. Now, again, you might be thinking, well, I can do that for free, right? I don't need to spend six hundred and thirty-six dollars to have three hundred and eight conversations with um, at a cost of two dollars and seven cents per conversation. But again, um, nothing, you know, nothing's free, right? Like, even if you're doing prospecting manually, so you're knocking on doors, cold calling, uh, going to networking events, all of those things cost you your time. And if you value your time at all, you know that your time is worth something, right? So there is still a cost, even though these free prospecting methods are being taken place. So what I wanna do now is I wanna jump into the Google Sheet where we store all of the leads, contact information, and then all of the pre-qualification questions that we've asked them and they've answered. So again, before we go there, 308 new conversations with potential buyers at a cost of $2.07 per conversation. So what does that turn into? Well, here's where we track all like said, we track all the lead uh, information, contact, and everything. And as you can expect, this is all blurred out as well, just to, again, not hide anything, but to protect the identity and the privacy of these individuals, because these are real people. They've given you know their phone numbers, emails, and all that, answered some questions uh, that we pre-qualify them with. So I do have to respect that. But here we are. We are starting on row number two. I'm going to scroll all the way down to the bottom. Again, these are all real people actual leads that have said hey yes contact me and there's quite a bit of scrolling here because there's quite a few leads so we come down to the bottom and we were at row 122 so we started at row 2 we're at row 122 that means you know this top row was all the information 121 leads in 31 days now let that sink in for a moment 121 leads in 31 days are you generating that many for yourself? I mean, there probably are people that are doing that, but how much time and energy are they expelling in order to do that? You know, who's taking care of the rest of your business while you're out there like a mad person just generating all these leads, right? Um, it's pretty much impossible to be prospecting unless you have like zero business and zero clients. It's pretty much impossible to be prospecting eight, 10, 12 hours a day, right? Like, cause you know, it's real estate. You have your clients you attend to, you have showings, you have, um, you know, key releases, you have inspections, you have just day-to-day -day activities, right? Like following up with calls and emails and all that. But 121 leads. This is what getting off the prospecting hamster wheel looks like. Because if this happened, 121 leads in 31 days happen automatically. My client didn't, you know, pick up a phone to generate this lead. She didn't go to a networking event. She didn't knock on a single door. She didn't do anything other than follow up with the leads. Obviously that's important too, but these leads came to her no matter what she was doing, 24 seven, day and night. So if you wanna get off the prospecting hamster wheel and you wanna see or hear what something like this would look like for you, I would then like to you know, obviously talk to you. Head on over to discovery.realascendmedia.com and I'd love to have a conversation about getting you off the prospecting hamster wheel. Talk to you soon.